Seriously. James Harden is one of the non-football players that I might run into on the street. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to try to take a picture of this dude because he's always in some shenanigans. It's like he doesn't even care about being a free man. Allegedly. Until further notice, morning coffee and the evening show on hiatus per YouTube. Due to this inconvenience, the BBN Network is debuting a Tonight Show with Jack Frost on August 20th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that will run on Twitch. Also, to make sure we adhere to all YouTube policies, a Patreon page has been erected for all controversial issues. Links will be made available on all videos uploaded from here on. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? All right, so, all right, so just the other day I seen this story, right? It was about James Harden. Okay, for everybody that don't know, James Harden and his boys is really out here in these streets. Seriously. I don't know what the guy, like, there's a point when you become so good at whatever your profession is that you have to be like, yo, I got to stay the fuck out of jail, but not James Harden. James Harden says, bring it on. He don't care. Before I even get into this story, just for everybody that don't know, this is not the first time that James Harden has gotten himself into some kind of shenanigans. So you cannot just blame this on the people that he's with. It's like perfect example. Let's say I was a guy. I went to jail, I came out, was on the straight and narrow, then one of my peoples got into a little bit of shit. You could possibly say, oh man, maybe he's still hanging out with those people he was hanging out with before he got locked up. Maybe that's what happened, right? But now let's say I'm a regular guy, and I'm just always getting into crap all the time. When I say regular guy, I mean a guy that hasn't been to jail. You know, still a celebrity. Then you got to say, it's probably the individual. <laughs> it's probably the individual. He's probably, he's probably on some shit. Anyway, so, and I'm not saying drugs. I mean, like, on, on one. So, anyway, so, um, just so I can give you a little bit of, a background on James Harden. Y'all know Moses Malone, right? All right, so, Moses Malone has a son, amply named Moses Malone Jr., and so, one, for whatever the reasons was, Moses Malone Jr. decided to make some comments about James Harden. Alright, so, he made some comments about James Harden. And then James Harden happened to run into this dude. It was like 2016 or something. So, he happened to run into this dude at some kind of like strip club or some club, something, I don't know, something out in Houston. So, <laughs> this guy, yeah. so James Harden allegedly, okay, so Moses Malone Jr. is at the event. Somehow Moses Malone Jr. gets robbed. And then for whatever, he get robbed, beat up, he was assaulted. And it was allegedly because the Rockets guard, allegedly, I said that word, I'm not saying he did it, but it's alleged that the Rockets guard, the All-Star Rockets guard, the MVP, he was an MVP at that time though, MVP Rockets guard, paid a bounce of $20,000 to whoop his ass. Hey, I'm not making this up, y'all. This is what's been alleged. And just so we clear about how the situation all turned out, that bouncer got sentenced to 35 years in prison. Yep, that James Harden. So anyway, James Harden and his people were at some club somewhere doing stuff. And, um, <laughs> and, um, James Harden, somebody with James Harden ends up getting into an altercation with somebody over something. That's never made clear. I don't know what it is. I don't think nobody cares what the actual reason for the altercation was, to be honest with you. He gets into an altercation. 
When he gets into the altercation, some chick is filming it. James Harden takes the girl's phone, throws it on the damn roof. Okay, there's multiple reasons why this is stupid. The first one is, you're James Harden. You big as shit. You could just go stand in front of her. You James Harden. You big as shit. You're supposed to be, well, I'm, this part don't have anything to do with being big. And for everybody that don't know, he's like 6'4 and he's solid. Like, James Harden is a, not a little guy, y'all. He's not. So, um, he throws the girl roof, um, cell phone on the roof. First of all, what makes you think, you think that that roof is like in another dimension? Like, once you throw something on the roof, it can never be recovered ever again? Because you want to get rid of the damn video. So, why throw the phone when somebody could just simply go get the phone and then have the video? Like, this is... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. What what university is that? University of Arizona or something like that? I hope they didn't give him a diploma. Seriously, like he should not have any kind of certificate certificate saying that he graduated from any kind of university at all. There's this thing, it's called doors, and there's usually one leading to a roof. All he would, ha all she would have to do is find somebody to go to the roof. To the door that leads to the roof and open it. What the fuck, yo? Anyway, so the thing goes on the roof. <laughs> and I guess after he did it, he thought about it. I mean, at the end of the day, we gotta think they've been drinking. Alright, so they've been drinking. One of the one of them is at, at least one of them is fighting. So the testosterone is going crazy. They all amped up. They pumped up. They all light and left with it. Anything can happen, right? Whatever. So let's just give James Harden the benefit of the doubt for one moment and say he just wasn't thinking. The alcohol maybe affected his his uh, his his thought process, and he wasn't thinking rationally or smart or or any in any in any manner that made sense because. He must have obviously thought he threw the telephone into a new dimension. <laughs> and then on top of that, this is they called the cloud. And then on top of that, if she was live streaming, I mean, there's so many reasons why just throwing the phone by itself is just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so after they throw the phone, James Harden gives her like 500. And then his homeboy gives her more money. So you mean to tell me that you couldn't have just asked her to delete the footage and you would give her money if she deleted the footage because that sounds like I'm not even talking about it right now if you do that you see what I mean ah oh, man I tell you what I'm giving you 500 just uh, de elite, delete that for us yo we don't want that getting out shit he could have gave her 5,000 this is James Harden he gave some he allegedly gave some other dude $20,000 to do some shit. He could have gave her a stack. I don't know what he was willing to pay, but I don't know. Anyway, so the point being is this. <laughs> I don't know. It just don't make no sense to me. Why throw the phone? Anyway, so... <laughs> anyway, so... um. He's always getting in the mess. James Harden is just James Harden, man. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so the woman filed the police report. And on top of that, she's saying that her wrist was injured or something shit. So she had to go to the hospital. It's like, it's way too... But she took his money, though. Because she was always going to take the money. You feel me? That's why he should have just... He should have just offered the money and not thrown the phone... <laughs> Because now you could possibly, oh man, if her wrist is really messed up, and don't let her be something like where she needs her wrist for a living, like if she's, I don't know, some kind of secretary, or I don't know, answers phones for a living, or give handy J's, or anything that she might do for a living. Because imagine if she, you know, give handy J's for a living, and she goes to the court and she says, look, I got, I, I think this was, this in Las Vegas? I don't know where this was. But she's like, yo, look, I do handy J's for a living. You know, now I only can do one at a time. I need to be compensated. Like, there's no telling. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's no telling. Like, don't grab people's phones, y'all. 
This is the second incident, and who knows how in, in this short period of time. People out here snatching women's phones from them. At least she didn't get all beat up and knocked out. So that's a good look. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. I don't know, man. Like, what did he think was happening when he threw the phone on the roof? Did he think, did he think it was... Maybe he didn't think it was going to go on the roof. Maybe he thought he was going to throw it and the shit was just going to, like, not land. Like, he was going to, like, throw it to the ocean or some shit. Like, what did he think was... I don't understand, yo. I'm just so confused. Like, you don't understand how confused I am about... I don't know how that made any sense. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Barbers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I, I haven't forgot about you, but that's all I got on this one. <laughs> Where do you think the phone was going, yo? I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.